All right, what's up, guys? So, SpongeBob the Cosmic Shake just came out, and I kind of wanted to just do a reaction video. Nothing too crazy. I spent a lot of time trying to edit my videos up and think them out, and sometimes I just kind of want to, you know, have a fun video where I don't really have to do too much editing. So I came out the other day, and I've been waiting. And automatically, like, it's already given me, like... Yeah, it's already given me, like, Battle for Bikini Bottom vibes. I really like the way the graphics look and everything like that. <clears throat> it's really resembling... It's really, like, reminding me of the remastered Battle for Bikini Bottom. I played Battle for Bikini Bottom, like, a lot as a kid. That was the first game, I think, that I'd actually, like, beat 100%. Oh, that's cool. So they got some different um, enemy types and stuff like that, but it looks like they still got the same boxes from Battle for Bikini Bottom, which is cool. I like those. I'm kind of wondering if it's going to be like open world or if it's just going to be like, oh, cool. They got like the uh, Krusty Krab pizza and stuff like that. That's pretty cool, too. It seems like they're really leaning into like old, old SpongeBob. Because I don't really think anybody likes the new Spongebob. I mean, maybe kids do, but... I, tr I tried watching the Patrick Star show, honestly, and I just... Maybe I need to get, a, 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 like, another chance. But, oh, that's pretty cool. Like, the whole bubble and stuff like that. I'm, I'm wondering why Patrick's kind of tiny and, like, flying around. It's kind of interesting. But, yeah, it seems like it's pretty much like a platformer, which is cool. We don't... Just, like, a simple platformer. I like that. It's got the whole, like... Uh, it, it might be a difficult platformer since it's got, like, the whole... Uh, circle where you land and stuff like they had on the the Crash Bandicoot game, the uh back uh it's about time, which is pretty difficult actually. I'm not really sure how many different um places they show. Oh yeah, see that's cool with the pizza. I remember in the TV show though they the pizza kind of like turned into a parachute, but I'm not really too worried about it. As long as they don't forget my diet, Dr. Pib. You forgot my diet, Dr. Pib. How am I supposed to eat this pizza without my drink? So I'm not really even sure what he's collecting right now. Like, um, bubble gum or something? Not really too sure. So far, it looks pretty nice, though. I've been, like, waiting forever for them to put some gameplay out ever since I saw the, um, the trailer. The trailer looked awesome. I love that they did the, um, sweet victory on there. I'm pretty sure they did Sweet Victory. I, I haven't watched it in a, in a few months since it's been a while since it came out. But yeah, this level seems pretty basic. There's not really like too much going on in the background or anything like that. Some pretty like s simple textures. I'm wondering what the whole plot is with these guys, like where they came from. They're kind of just like turning into some kind of like ink or something like... Excuse me, sorry. Turn into some kind of ink or something, but yeah, I'm just kind of interested in knowing a little bit more about the plot. I'm not even really sure when this is coming out. It seems like um, it's pretty close to to being done, but this could just you know be like a oh wow he's up there in the clouds right now. Um, I'm wondering if they're gonna fight like a boss or something like that. The the soundtrack sounds really really good. It doesn't really remind me too much of a SpongeBob game. Hopefully they have some more SpongeBob type music in it. But yeah, as far as the sound design, it sounds really good. In one second, sorry, I gotta look at my phone. Okay, so maybe this is like a boss or something like that. Just kind of barfing out some different uh, enemies and stuff like that. Okay, so he's got a Krusty Krab hat on. Maybe Plankton tried to make something in the chum bucket and it just kind of like turned into this weird freaking bubble gum underneath your shoe looking kind of thing. I really like the bubble um, that captures the enemies. It's pretty cool. I wonder if they'll have more like bubble type of stuff. I wonder how far they're actually going to go as far as um, SpongeBob references and stuff like that. Huh, so they said they're going to bring something back to this guy that looks familiar. I wonder who that is. They haven't really showed anybody other than Spongebob. And then, okay, no fall damage. That's pretty nice. Somersault. Oh, interesting. I wonder if this is Mr. Krabs. 
in like a um, disguise or if it's maybe like one of his family members or something like that. It doesn't sound like it's the voice of Mr. Krabs. I'm not really sure. I'm wondering if they're going to actually have like all the voice actors maybe. Sounds like, of course, they got SpongeBob, the regular um, voice actor for that. Oh, cool. It looks like it's mystery. That's that's pretty awesome. And you get to ride her. That's pretty cool. That's pretty. That's really cool, honestly. I'm definitely excited for this game. Like I said, Battle for Bikini Bottom was the first game I ever 100%ed. It took way longer than it should have. What if you have different outfits depending on like the terrain or the areas that you're in or if it's just something that you can like change? Get SpongeBob in that sexy maid outfit. So far, there's nothing like too, too crazy. Might skip ahead a little bit and see if there's anything else going on. Okay, seems like another one of those guys. Okay, so it seems like he's fighting some more of those guys. Hopefully it's not too repetitive. Let's see what's going on right here for a second. Oh, okay. It's pretty interesting. It's different. I wonder what the relevancy is. I feel like sometimes, like, game developers, or I don't know who decides to show, like, the gameplay, but maybe they're just trying not to show too much right now, but it's definitely an interesting, like, part of the game for them to show... I don't really see like a health bar or anything like that either. So maybe you just. Well, they got the underwear. Okay. But yeah, it seems like a pretty good platformer. It seems like there might be a little bit of a challenge. Definitely giving me some early 2000s vibes. Let's skip ahead a little bit more. See what happens once he gets to the top up here. Okay, so it looks like another one of these guys. Not really thinking these guys are bosses. Maybe just uh, more... I guess it's like the, um, the robot maker. Except it's like a monster maker, or alien. I'm not really sure how to describe these things. I guess aliens or something or... Um... Like I said, chum bucket, food that came to life, cactus juice. I'm surprised they don't have the kelp, uh, the kelp smoothies or whatever. I'm really hoping, like I said, that you get to kind of like um, still explore Bikini Bottom and stuff like that. Maybe they updated it a little bit. Okay. So it might just be different like levels and stuff like that. Interesting. But yeah, um, so that's pretty interesting. It was a little repetitive, if I'm going to be honest, but it seems very polished. I like the soundtrack. There seem to be like a decent amount of references so far. Really hoping that um, there's more areas that kind of like resemble old SpongeBob like references or episodes. Because um, there wasn't anything really too special about, you know, the atmosphere. I mean... Kind of reminded me of maybe like Jellyfish Fields or something like that from the original. But definitely seems to have like, you know, Spongebob, Battle for Bikini Bottom vibes and stuff like that. So it's cool. It's cool. I'm excited for it still. I think that the uh, the trailer kind of hyped everything up a little bit as far as, uh, you know, the Mrs. Pearl guitar solo and all that. But Cosmic Shake, I think it's got to be crazy for it to have a name like that. Hopefully, hopefully the game's pretty good. I've got a good feeling about it. But, um, yeah, thank you uh, for watching, and uh, uh, let me know also in the comments kind of what your take is on the game and everything like that.